Uh, by the way, speaking of fantastic, the weather has been amazing for this Memorial Day weekend. We did have some clouds move in. That may actually be a little bit of good news for us. Uh, sunshine not beating down quite as strongly during the day uh, today like it was yesterday afternoon. Look at the sunrise, though, starting to see some beautiful colors out there. This great picture from Oak Brook City skyline there. I'm actually going to step out of the way since that's such a nice view. Uh, a lot of those high thin clouds are going to stay with us. They will allow the sunshine for the most part to come through and that'll help to warm us up. It's not going to really change change our forecast overall. I did want to mention this though. This is the drought monitor released once a week from the uh, uh, drought monitoring organization where it was starting to see some of this uh, moderate drought begin to creep in. And I think we're going to only see this expand as time goes on. Over the next week, we have zero rain in our forecast. We are very dry. The month of May is going to go down likely as the second driest on record. Uh, it makes for beautiful weather for this Memorial Day weekend, but there's a catch to that, and it's that things are getting very, very dry across the area. 50s to start your morning. It is a little bit on the chilly side. We do expect the temperatures to get into the upper 70s as we get into the afternoon, but that northeast wind coming off of the lake is certainly going to make it feel much, much colder. So cooler lakeside is going to be the case for almost every single day. Uh, today, 79 is what I'll put as the daytime high, 78 or 79, depending on where you are, but cooler along the lakefront, 80s away from the lake. Does a little bit warmer as we look to Memorial. Memorial Day with 60s and 70s along the lakefront, but mid 80s as you get away from the lake. And then look at this on Tuesday. Temperatures may get into the 80s for much of the city, maybe 70s along the lakefront, but look at the 90s that show up across the area from Kankakee over to Ottawa and down to Rensselaer. Once you get the effects of the lake out of the way, the temperatures are really able to soar despite the fact that all of this cloud cover is expected to continue for the next several days. Nothing really to change this pattern. It looks like we're going to be stuck in this at least for another week. Again, if you enjoy the nice weather, that's great. Temperatures will even get into the mid 80s by Thursday, but just know that the gardens are not liking this. I'm sure the agricultural community is not liking this. A lot of sunshine makes for beautiful seven day forecasts, but things are exceptionally dry.